The Calder Cup Championship Series has suddenly become a best of three final. The Texas Stars and the Toronto Marlies, well, they've split the opening four games. It's one last contest here in Texas before the series shifts back to Toronto. Just a couple of hours ago, the team arriving here in Cedar Park, 96 degree temperature, hot and ready to roll. Looking in, long shot, and again, close in tight as Sparks tries to play it away. Loose out front, and to the boards it comes as Travis Warren sends it back to Regner, and he missed on it. And now Janssen on the breakaway, in on McKenna. Backhand scores! Andreas Janssen, a minute 32 in on a breakaway misplay at the blue line by Regner, and the Marlies go up. 1-0 in game number five. Well, the Texas Stars with all kinds of pressure in the offensive zone, and then the puck comes out to the point. Brett Regner mishandles the puck, and Andreas Janssen off to the races, and the speedy Swede, you're not going to catch him in that situation. And Hall playing together at the moment as Moore moves it across the line. Mason Marchman steps into it. He's got it on the back end, leads it down for Moore, gets it back. Tries to send it back out. Brooks gathers it in on goal. Scores! Moore! Right in the feet of McKenna. And the Marlies quickly out to a 2-0 lead. That was Moore. This is Moore. And this time, Trevor Moore with a terrific job. But this fourth line for the Toronto Marlies, and Sheldon Keefe said to me this morning, you know, the fourth line has been dominating over the course of the, much of the series on the back side but it bounced on him and now Dowling working to it comes back up the wall find some help Mangine shot and that one just dribbles wide as it's lifted back out into center and that's the best and closest chance the Stars have had so long and uh, uh, high. here's a hard shot toward the goal score <laughs> The, one, the draw won by Flynn and then sent back to the point right in the middle of the ice is Gavin Bayreuther and he makes no mistake off the far goal post and past the outstretched glove of Garrett Sparks. Liljegren back to it. In toward the goal, Greening looks to get to it. Liljegren in toward goal. Mueller, Greening scores! Greening scores! Hits Mueller and Mueller uses his skate to growl the puck and he chips it to Greening and the one-time shot beats McKenna and the Toronto Marlies have gotten that two goal advantage back. It's now a 3-1 hockey game. And it is taken away and back through the middle. Travis Moran deposits it back into the Toronto zone. Off the glass, Grundstrom came off funny, but wow, he got that one to Janssen and he races in. Following on the play, Rosen steps in, wait, shoots, scores! Rosen makes it four to one. What a rip! by Kelly Rosen. Wow, what an outstanding play by the Toronto Marlies. Travis Moran finds Dowling with a step, cutting in, hole, shot by Dowling, and Sparks comes up with the save. Back up Hetherington at the blue line. Far side lifted in, Sparks loose, puck strolling for it, up and behind the goal as Sparks regains his feet. They're trying to get something going offensively, Justin Dowling with a nice little move, uh, a little curl and drag around Justin Hall and then he fires the shot sparks with the right pad and then the shot comes from the half wall and a redirection out in front Dickinson working to it Marchman off the glass takes a funny hop now Marchman again Brooks he thought he'd come back to it Rosen picks it up and he's got Brooks out in front of him and a heavy steam here's Rosen in shoot scores Rosen how do you like that 5-1, the Marlies with 2.53 left to go in the second period. Well, we talked about the skating ability of Callie Rose and how he's such a terrific skater. Landon Bow comes in to take over for Mike McKenna after he gives up five goals. Well, I think this is more of uh, Derek Laxdahl saying, you know what, I'm going to save my starter for game number six come Tuesday night in Toronto. They haven't called it all series. They're not going to call it now. As Janssen picks it up and gets it back out. Alton in two on one with Carl Grundstrom. Pass over. Grundstrom makes no mistake. 
Carl Grundstrom makes it 6-1 for the Toronto Marlies. Off to the race as they go, and Alton with a full head of steam, and Grundstrom separates himself, and he makes no mistake on a terrific pass by Miro Altonen and Carl Grundstrom's seventh goal of the Calder Cup plus, and his first point here of this Calder Cup final. He was everywhere out there. Two game-winning goals. Back up, Mangin sends one in. Side of the goal, scores! Sheldon Drive gets one back for the Texas Stars with 8.38 remaining. Well, and good on the Stars that they're not going to sit back quietly. They're going to continue to try and fight back. Dickinson trying to check from the backside, and Marchment kind of comes up with the shoulder and knocks Dickinson down to End nullify the, game, the play. Brooks shoots, and he sent it up and over, but that doesn't matter. The Marlies have won game number five as Ben Smith comes over and congratulates Garrett Sparks. A critical game for the Toronto Marlies, and did they deliver? Well, they really did, and this was a statement game by the Toronto Marlies.